on Wednesday, February 16th, 1983. The 45-foot whale-watching vessel, named the San Mateo, capsized in the mouth of Morro Bay Harbor, California. It took three freak waves over 45 feet tall to completely destroy the boat and knocked every one off into the water. Here's our story. Our drive from Pass Robles, California took us about 40 minutes to arrive in Moor Bay in the early morning. It was a normal slightly cool cloudy day and all of us kids were excited and ready to go out to see the wells in their natural habitat. We were lined up and ready to board the San Mateo. After boarding, we waited impatiently to depart with some of us making statements like, really, I could have swam faster to the harbor's mouth. As usual, we were ignored, but life went on. The crew threw off the ties then we departed the pier. Out on the harbor we fed the, seal, the seagulls and the otters and the seals as they swam beside us. Life was good. No care in the world. We were at peace with the sea mist in our faces. After getting a few yards from the pier, we noticed that the harbor patrol was falling right behind us. So we did what normal kids would do, and we waved at them. We waved very excitedly, enjoying the time out on the sea, feeding the seagulls with bread. And then we noticed that the harbor patrol waved back at us. That made us happy. And we continued on. As we reached the harbor's mouth, it seemed that the waves of all of a sudden went, became monstrous. But what I mean is the waves changed from calm to destructive in a pure heartbeat. As we entered the harbor's mouth, we rode over one wave and seemed like we fell. 30 feet down into a void. Everyone fell out of their seats. I fell out of my seat and hit my head right on the bench. As I started to stand up, I stared over at Trenny Biller and paused. Right behind him, I could see a wave that seemed to be a thousand times bigger than me. I became speechless. And that was the last thing I remembered before waking up at the bottom of the Morro Bay Harbor floor. I woke up to a vision of my father who died in 1979. He told me to swim up and grab onto the board floating right above my head. Needless to say, I think I was about 30 feet down. It was weird because I was touching the ground, the bottom of the ocean in Morro Bay. But, weirdly, I felt at peace. I think his calming voice was the only thing that saved me. I swam up to the surface and grabbed the board. I held on to that board for dear life. The third wave hit us and took most of it took most of us down. But we all came up because we were holding our boards. After being rescued, we found out that the captain went down with his ship. 
and died a year later. Trini's grandpa died two years after due to complications from the horrific mishap. All of us survivors lived with some sort of phobia from the water. It's great to be alive, but I would like to document this event with a video and bring it to life. What really happened that day out on the Morro Bay Harbor on February 16, 1983? I would like a reunion with all of my fellow classmates and my teacher and all those that were on board, especially the ones who saved us. They deserve a medal. A reunion would be good with all those involved so that we can heal and bring closure to what should have been a great day whale watching in Morro Bay, California. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this experience about what happened to us over in Morro Bay, California. It was very disastrous, but we all survived. My goal is to try and make a movie about this to help all of us survivors to cope with what happened to us and to bring closure. So whatever you can do for me and my friends, I appreciate that. Have a great day and God bless you.